Hey, welcome back to the channel today. You know, I talk about the single plane swing. I talk about Mo Norman. I talk about ball striking. We play golf. I even talk about Bryson DeChambeau and how great he's been playing this year. But you know what I don't talk about very much? Is putting. Today, we're gonna talk about putting and how we can maybe even show you a single plane way of putting. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're gonna play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're going to go out there and play great because of the single plane swing. So I pulled this old Spalding putter out of my archives here. Uh, no, I don't use this, but it's interesting because if you think about putting in a lot of ways, it's just a flat stick designed to take a ball and roll it into a hole, right? But so we tend to just, okay, say, okay, let's build a stick. And you see, if you, if you look at all the putters you're using and the modern technology out there and all these different weighting designs and you got face weighted and face balanced and all these different designs, there's one really big problem with putting that I, and, and look, I struggle with putting. I have my entire life. I don't think, and I know it's gonna be sound odd, but putting is one of the most difficult parts of the game. Even Mo Norman struggled with his putting because the ball is on the ground, you have variables you're dealing with, green, break, speed, and all those things because the ball's on the ground. But let's talk for a minute about the design of a putter and the mechanics of it. And that's where I spend my time is trying to find simple ways to putt and hit, hit the golf ball. Now, if you look at what's happening with putting, in most cases, you're seeing that both arms are bent and you're trying to get the shoulders into kind of a rocking motion. And that's really the way most people putt. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing to do it, but here's the problem with it. That's much different. That's a much different position of the body than when you actually strike a golf ball. Now, why is it? Well, think about it. I'm standing this way, I'm looking at the hole this way, and I'm trying to roll the ball in that direction. You can see that, that the body has to kind of move in a way to open up to the target line. So to me, putting has always been a very unnatural thing to do to play golf. But I want to show you something for a minute. I want to show you how I hit a golf ball. So if, if you see the single plane swing, what you're going to see is you're going to see a straight cl a line, a club lined up with my lead arm, right? So you're going to see an alignment with my lead arm. And then you're going to see also, if you go down the line, you're going to see the club aligned with my trail arm. So you're going to see an alignment with the lead arm and then you're gonna see an alignment with the trail arm. Now, if I go to impact, here's another thing you're gonna see. You're gonna see at impact, if you measured me at impact, you're gonna see that my body is actually open to the target. My pelvis is actually open to the target. So I'm actually open to the target with my lead arm aligned, and I'm open to the target with my trail arm aligned, all right? So interesting dynamics of the strike of a golf ball. Now let's go back to this. Putting. Putting has none of those characteristics. Maybe it's lined up with my trail arm, but look, it's not even close to line up with my lead arm. My arms are bent, and now I've got to figure out, and here's what happens with a lot of people, and this may be happening to you, is because the arms are bent, there's a lot of room for variation. See, here's the problem with putting, is that if I have variation in my hands or my shoulders, the putter face is going to have variation. This is what makes putting so difficult is now that the hands are involved that you get different face angles, different this is in speeds, this is where the problem with putting in my in my opinion really is. But there's a company called Biomech. Now, I got to tell you, I, I have I didn't know this company at all. And I was I started playing a lot of golf this year because of COVID. I get out on the golf course, I want to get a little bit competitive, I'm joining my club championship, I'm starting to play a lot of golf, I'm playing a lot of golf with my brother Tim, and I'm putting, my putting one day would be great, one day it would be terrible. And to me, I know when I'm feeling good with my game, and putting has always been that thing, I hit the ball really well. When I go play golf, I'll hit between 13 and 17 or 18 greens around, right? I always hit the ball really well, I drive it well, I hit it well. Ball striking is never the reason I shoot high scores. The reason I shoot bad scores is because of putting. 
And so, and it's really frustrating to go hit it really well and just have a bad putting day and, and, and leave all those shots on the golf course. So I'm always kind of going, how can I become a better putter? Well, I started really practicing my putting. I literally bought almost every type of putter that was available because I haven't been playing a lot of golf in the last 15 years. I got short putters, long putters, arm walk putters. Um, I used to putt like this. I used to putt with a long putter, right? But they made that illegal. So heck, I'm, I'm, I'm into putting now. I want to figure this out. Well, all of a sudden, I'm in my office one day and there's this little blue head cover in the corner in my office. And I'm like, what is that? And I grab it and it was this putter that somebody had sent me three years ago. And I get sent a lot of equipment. My, my office is full of people sending me stuff and clubs and all different types of drivers and putters and stuff. So this thing was just sitting there. I grabbed it. I'm like, wow. And I, and I go, what is this? And it's, it was a putter sitting like this. And here is the design of this putter. Notice how when I grab the putter, it lines up with my lead arm. And notice that it also lines up with my trail arm. And this is because the shaft is leaning at a particular angle. Now this company is called Biomech. And the, and the guy who is behind this putter is a biomechanics guy. He wasn't really even a golfer. And he, he fought and struggled with putting as well. And he decided that putting is such a difficult part of the game because it's not a natural way to roll a golf ball on a green and he designed this putter. That's what I love about it. There's biomechanics behind this. So it's creating an arm walk with a lead arm. It's creating an alignment with the trail arm. And now watch. Because of these two alignments, it's taking my hands completely out of the equation. The hands cannot flip the golf club because it is locked against my arm. So you know me, eliminate variable, I just eliminated the hand variable. So now it's a shoulder stroke, right? Okay, so now it's a shoulder stroke and it's all based on the motion of the shoulders, which I love because I can gauge that. Now, next thing is because of this design, and I can go through the qualities of this putter, which are fantastic. The next part of this design is that you want your feet to be slightly open. Because remember how in, when I strike a golf ball, my body's slightly open? Well, now my body is open. And why is that helpful to me? Because I can see my line. See this? I'm open to my line. Whereas before when I would putt, you're closed off to the line. You're looking sideways. Now you're open to the line. And watch this. If I was going to toss a golf ball, would you not open your body to toss? See this? Open the body to toss. Well, watch when I hold this putter now. I am open and I toss. So <laughs> I don't, this is the most fabulous design of a putter I've ever seen. Now here's what I did with the putter. So you know me, I added a little weight. I thought the putter was underweighted, so I had a little weight to it. And then I put the Callaway triple track sticker on it because I use the Callaway triple track golf balls. <laughs> and you know me, I'm looking for systems and ways to, to increase my de decrease variability. So now I have the line of the golf ball and now I have the triple track on the putter and I have a perfect design system. Now you're going to say, well, is, a, is it supposed to be in the back of the stance? And the answer is it's not really in the back of the stance. That's the middle of my stance. But when I open my feet, it looks like it's in the back of my stance. And now my eyes are over my line and now I roll. Now, so what a fantastic design. What a fantastic design of a putter. A couple more things that are so important about this putter and about putting. When, 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 when you putt well and when I putt well, What's very, very important about putting well is that, and I'm going to try to phrase this so it doesn't get confusing. I, I don't want to do this. And you, so here's what people tend to do. They grab the putter and they walk in and try to get the putter to line up. And actually you, you should do it much differently than this. You should actually set the putter down to where you want it. And then you should set up to the putter. Why is that? Well, let me show you. So let's say you're on the green and I put my triple track golf ball down. I read the line. I put my triple track golf ball down on my line. Or you know what? You don't even have to have that. If you had, if you had anything, a line on the golf ball. So you, you put a line down, right? So I got my line on the ball. And now you've, you've, you've read the putt and you got your line. You want to set that putter down to where 
it lines up to that line and you don't want to mess with it because you want the putter to set and then you simply grab the putter and roll it, right? You grab the putter and then you roll. So you want to decrease your ability to manipulate face. So uh, any putter that helps you, so this, uh, this putter is helping me, it sets me up and then I roll it. So the putter is helping me. Does that make sense? I'm not manipulating the putter because really all putting is is getting the face lined up and then hitting the correct speed. That's all putting really is. So if I read it well, get the face angle and hit the right speed, I'm gonna make putts. So I want a putter that helps me line up. And that's what this putter does. So this is, in my opinion, one of the greatest inventions in putting I've ever seen. Uh, I putt really well with it. I have enjoyed it a lot and I've been now starting to work with this company who I didn't work with before this. They didn't know who I was about helping them sell some putters and, and get these things out there because I believe this is the absolute best way to putt is a shaft lean putter that opens the body, that locks into the arms, that eliminates variables. This is the way to do it. So if you enjoy this putter, hey, check out the channel below. I have a link to save you some money on the putter. Um, you can contact the company and put in and click that link and they'll get you the right size. You got to get fit for it because you, you can't go above the arm. It has to be fit properly. So you make sure you get the right size and Biomech will get you a great putter. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the content about putting. Believe it or not, I talked about putting today. I'm, su I'm really enjoying putting with this putter and I hope you are too. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this content with all your friends because I want to help them putt better too.